welcome you all the students today we are going to learn about nature of language this topic is from the subject linguistics part 1 english code 102 this is a lecture number 5 we already have conducted four lectures in this our lecture series program so without further ado let's talk about our today's topic nature of language language is combination of sound so sound is basically the nature of language spoken language physically consists of distinctive speech sounds phonemes is strung together to make up words so all the phonemes are actually units of sound system in language for example phonemes are sounds which distinguish one word from another example as bat versus bat so bat and bat only differs the sound ba and pa so pa and pa are known as phonemes phonemes are making the sound in any language that is actually nature of language so sound is actually the nature of language number 2 words have meanings all the words have meanings in any language So certainly there are meaningful chunks in every language that is known as the nature of language. Number three, language follows a grammatical structure. There are certain parameters and principles that a language follows. Those parameters and principles are known as grammatical structures. So this is one of the nature of language that language has grammatical structures. Number four. language is based on oral and aural system oral a u r a l refers to language as we hear it and oral refers to what we say so whatever we hear or whatever we say that is actually nature of language number 5 language can die and be extinct so language sometimes be extinct when there is a no first language speaker so language death occurs when a language loses its last native speaker by extinction language extinction is when the language is no longer known including by second language speakers when it becomes known as an extinct language so when there are no speakers the first speakers of any language that is known as the extinction of the language number 6 and that is language can be diverse so there is certainly diversity in all the languages human language is highly diverse different languages have different ways of achieving the same functional goals and easily learnable so all the languages are easily learnable or even there are certain ways to achieve the same function in language any language allows its users to express virtually any thought they can conceptualize when traits render a human language unique in the biological world so in the biological world these these are actually the traits of human language and these are the unique language traits that whatever we want to conceptualize we can express it in a diverse way so this is known as or we must say language can be diverse and this is one of the natures of language thanks for attention thank you very much hopefully this would have been very helping for all of you